AG Squad. Welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool under here. And basically what this is, is a special coffee maker or a special machine. And you can see for the one that we got right here is a brand called Geek Chef. And right here is basically what the package looks like when you guys do get it. Let me just open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So when you guys do open up, inside there's another box. So let's take it out. Once you guys do take out the box, this is basically what the box looks like. So you see on the box, they do show you guys the image of what the box looks like. Top right here, we do have the brand name, which is Geek Chef. And on the side right here, they do provide some specs and feature about the product. And if you guys turn on the side right here, they also provide some more specs about the product as well. But now let's open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So the first thing inside, they do provide guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And see, they do teach you guys how to use everything on here in terms of espresso or folding option. And then underneath that, if you see, we do have the product. If you see how it's all well protected, but let's take it out. If you see the way how to design the packaging is actually pretty nice to protect the product really well. But let's take out the remainder parts of the wrappers. So once you guys do take it out, this is basically what the product looks like. Let me show you guys what's included inside before I bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys a close-up point of view. So let's start with this one right here. So right here we do have the accessory for you guys to use a special option. So this is basically what the product looks like on top and here is the bottom. So you see how they do have two holes for the espresso to come out from two different cups if you guys do need to. I love how they designed this option right here for you guys to use if you guys do need to. Right here we do have the tray. If you guys do take it out, you do have the option to take it out to wash it. Same thing for this part. And then right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. Top part right here we do have a few buttons which I'll show you guys in a second. I want to show you guys what's in the back first because there's more stuff. So let's do take this part out. If you guys open up, inside right here, we do have some more accessory. If you guys do take it out, inside they basically provide you guys another one of the accessories if you guys want to change the different cap inside, which is basically for this part right here if you guys want to change it. And then right here, we do have a scooper option that also give you guys a pusher option. So once you guys scoop like the coffee bean on top, you have to use this part right here to push it down which is really convenient. And just to let you guys know, this part right here is plastic. So you do want to be careful when you guys do use it. But that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now let's bring the camera a little closer to show you guys a close up view of what the product looks like. But let's put everything back together first. And let's also set this up as well to show you guys how to put it together. So when you guys do put this part on, it only fits one way. So once you guys put it on, you guys don't lock it in like this. And that is basically how you guys do lock in. There is a little compartment for you guys to lock in bottom. So right there, if you can see. But now let's bring the camera a little closer to show you guys a close up view of what the product looks like on here. So here is basically what the product looks like in the front. And we see we do have an on and off button. We do have a special option and we do have a folding option. So definitely press on what you guys want to use on here. And then right here is basically what the product looks like on top. If you guys turn on the side, this actually looks like on this side. So you basically have to switch for you guys to turn on the steaming option if you guys do need to. So there's low to high. And then right here we do have the steaming option. So you do have the option to move it left and right if you guys do need to. But when you guys do turn it on, you do want to be careful. Try not to hurt yourself when you guys do use it. And if you guys notice, when you guys get the product, they don't provide you guys like a steaming cup or even like a two cup for the special option. So you guys need to have it yourself. But this is what the product looks like from the side. Now let's show you guys the back part. So right here is basically what the back part looks like. So this part right here is a water tank. So let's add your water inside right here in order for you to use it. And here we do have the plug where it's a plug in to actually activate it. And we see on the product, we do have a minimum line and a maximum line in terms of how much water you should add in here when you guys do use it. And we see the inside right here is dirty. So you definitely want to wash it if it's the first time using the product to make sure it's clean before you guys do use it. Now let me show you guys what the bottom part looks like. So if I do lift up the bottom, this is what the bottom part looks like. And we see how it does have the non stick material on the bottom to prevent it from moving around when you guys do use it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now let's go plug this in to kind of test it out to show you guys how it works and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here we do the product. First thing I want to do is add the water inside to the water tank first. All right, so that should be fine. Let's put it back on. So the way how to design the handle right here is actually pretty unique. Once you guys got it on, close it back up. And now you're ready to start using it. So make sure you get a cup or something to put it in the bottom. So since I don't have the specific cup with me at the moment, I'm just gonna use a bowl and use this for the test. So let's do turn it on. Once you guys do turn it on, you can press on what you guys wanna use. So let's say you guys wanna use espresso. You guys wanna press right here. If you see the product definitely does work. But obviously right now we don't have any coffee beans on, so it's just water coming out. 
If it's first time using product, you definitely want to run it a few times to make sure the inside is clean before I use it. And we'll see how it keeps going. So you guys need to turn it off manually. If you guys don't turn it off manually, then it keeps going. So that's definitely something I remember when you guys do use it. And when you guys do feel the water on here, it is really hot. So you definitely want to be careful as well. And after we finish using this part right here, you can see it does show you guys the temperature is ready for the milk floating option, for steaming option if you guys do want to. So now I'm actually pour out the water first and I will try the steaming option to show you guys what actually works. All right, so right here we got a steaming option. If you guys put it in, I'll just leave it like that for now because I don't have any other cup. So what I then do is press on this button. You guys want to turn this knob right here. Then you see how it works immediately and there's a lot of steam that comes out. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys do use it. But just to give you guys an idea what the product looks like if you guys were to use it on Max, let's try it out. That is basically what it actually looks like when you guys turn on Max. So it's definitely very hot and the steam that's on here is really powerful. But here is basically what the product looks like when you guys do use it. You can see it definitely does work. Obviously, when you guys do use it with coffee bean, it'll look a lot better. But just for this test, I want to show you guys a quick little demo to show you guys what it actually looks like if you guys do use it. Welcome right, back, guys. So nice so quick test of button definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. So obviously in the test eventually I don't have any coffee beans or anything and I don't have the correct cup. But when you see when you guys do the product, it definitely does work. Especially when you guys use the steaming option, it's actually really powerful. So you definitely want to be careful when you guys do use it. So that way you guys don't hurt yourself when you guys do use it because it is very hot. So whether if you guys want to use it at home, in office or anywhere else, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to come boxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality and special coffee maker, like the one that we do have right here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, that basically don't buy one and save your money something else that actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.